why did I not do the research? It's freaking cold. I should have brought some stuff with me on the road. Guys, I might not make it. I might not make it. going on big trucker bee family how y'all doing y'all y'all like my little acting i'm like a little i'm like an actor i am i'm like give me a good actor i'm like um insert actor name here i don't know went brain dead anyway how's it going yo we got winter coming around you know once it hits that october y'all need to be prepared be prepared for the stone be prepared for the weather be prepared to get in ultra survival mode in trucking. That's right, did you know that trucking in a way is like camping? And when you're camping, there's just some things you might need when you're on the road, because you never know if you're gonna be stranded, if you're gonna be stuck in that winter storm. I had one time I was stuck, uh, or I remember one time I was stuck in Cheyenne, Wyoming at this truck stop, Flying J truck stop. And was all, we were all just grouped together like penguins, man, in this truck stop, you know, just, just, just 69 in the truck. Did I say that? We were spooning each other just to stay warm. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the things that you should need, the top five things, I can count, the top five things you're gonna need on the road during the winter storms, the winter months. Now, uh, there were, there's gonna be a lot more things, and I have a lot more things, but I'm gonna send you guys somewhere to check out those things. I don't want to take all the credit from semitruckdriver.com. This is where most of the stuff comes from. Plus, common sense, common knowledge. A lot of you guys know this already, but if you're new in the trucking industry, if you're new in the trucking world, then maybe, just maybe, this video might save your life so you're not spooning with some fat old truck driver. Then again, us old fat truck drivers are pretty warm. We're like grizzly teddy bears. But I, I digress, let me just, let's just get into this. So number one, the top number one thing, and I guess I'm gonna go, normally I go like five to one, this time I'm gonna go from one to five, because I'm different, why not? But the one thing you definitely need to know, and this is just the, 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 the top thing you should have in every truck at all times, is the Fruity Pebbles. Just kidding, water, water and food, always keep two gallons or more of water in your truck. And that's whether it's winter or not. It's always good to have that water. No, that two liter of soda isn't gonna save your ass. I don't care how much you like it, and I don't care if you get a headache and you don't drink it. You must have water, and you must have food. And carry as much water as you can with food. Because sometimes food, depending on what you bring, might need water to make, because the stuff we buy, let's be honest, we don't always cook home cooked meals, and I know there's some drivers out there that can make some bomb ass meals, not the package shit, shit that adds water, but we just, it, it's just a good thing to have in our truck. So another thing when it comes to the food, you're gonna need like anything with protein. I'm talking about peanuts, peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, bread. That, that's really what I came up with. Now let's be serious now for a minute. Now you guys can have a lot more than peanut butter jellies. You can get meats in your truck uh, if you have a fridge. Um, definitely some cereal, oatmeal, that kind of thing. You know, quick stuff to eat if you need to. Make sure you pack uh, seven to uh, seven to fourteen days worth of food, even canned foods. And I know some of the stuff might sound blah, but when you're on the road and you're stuck in a snowstorm, you're in survival mode. You gotta have things prepared in your truck um, and stuff that even if you need to hand out to other drivers help them out but I would kind of be careful of that because uh, you don't want to give up your own supply but always pack enough food to make sure that, la that it will last you from 7 to 14 days um, in the winter because just because you get out of one snowstorm after a day or two doesn't mean you're not going to hit another snowstorm up ahead so make sure you always have plenty of food and water in your truck. The next thing you should probably have and you should always carry anyway is tools, fuses, batteries. Those kind of things can be essential life and death. 
it's always good to have extra batteries for flashlights and uh, it's always good to have tools for any type of breakdown little things that you might need to in order to fix whether it be headlight uh, fuses to replace your fuses and cigarette lighters or heater anything fuses actually it's funny uh, I had a fuse go out on me the other day for my charger or for my outlet and I just I never realized how essential fuses are in the trucking in trucks like they they're literally for everything so it's always good to carry a spare and you're supposed to carry spares but during the winter make sure you carry extra spares all right you don't want to be caught broken down without any tools spares and even if you're an owner operator some extra parts who knows you got to be able to work on your own truck and make sure that things are right for the road get rid of the roll on the road now another thing i don't really see a lot of people talking about this and i know people have done videos on this but this is trucker b this is my video this is the one you all came to watch and if you haven't came to watch be sure if this is your first time here to hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon for every time i upload and hit that like button once i'm done or hit it right now because you love me anyway one thing that some people just forget to bring is first aid kits first aid kits uh you never know in the winter you could slip and fall uh get a scrape on your knee and it doesn't have to be nothing big, you know, some bandages, some hydrogen peroxide, some alcohol. It's always good to have no matter what time of year it is. But some first aid kits are essential in the semi truck, especially during the winter because there's just accidents can happen. Whether you're a flatbed driver, car hauler, even a van driver, you know, slamming your door in the van, shutting the door, you know, anything could happen. You want to make sure you got that first aid kit because you could be miles from the hospital, stuck in a snowstorm out in the middle of nowhere and perish. Now another thing that we all should have, and you you guys already have it in your truck, but blankets and sleeping bags. Sleeping bags are actually rated. Certain sleeping bags are rated to hold under a certain degree of weather. So you want to get a good, nice, fluffy sleeping bag. My favorite sleeping bags are the ones that have the little hood on them. So just, just like all snuggled and bundled up. Yeah. But beyond the sleeping bags, you want to make sure that you also carry some extra blankets. Um, something that one of my buddies had pointed out, he says, you know, carry some extra blankets so that way if your truck is down and whatnot, you want to make sure you can be able to uh, fill in the cracks where the cold's up, where the cold weather's coming through and try to keep your truck as insulated as possible. And that was actually really good advice. I didn't even think about that. So definitely carry some extra bags, uh, sleeping bags, some extra blankets, whatever the case may be, because you never know when you're going to need them. You can build a little fort and have a little fun. Last but not least, a five gallon bucket. That's right, a five gallon bucket. Out of all the things you could bring with you on the road, why do I say a five gallon bucket? Well, I'm about to get a little dirty here. The reason you wanna bring a five gallon bucket is because if you are stranded on that highway for six to seven hours and you're stuck, and in that moment of truth happens, your belly says, "Hey, buddy, I got, to, I got, I gotta, I gotta take the Browns to the Super Bowl. You better be ready to take the Browns to the Super Bowl." Now, what I would suggest um, is get a five-gallon bucket with a pool noodle and a trash bag. Simple, comfy, disposable. My buddy just bought one of those uh, little camper toilets, Nip 34. Funny dude, man. But hey, you got, you do what you gotta do, man. Because sometimes when we we are in situations where there is no bathroom around us, we are stuck. And when you get stuck, you got to do the do. You know, there's some things you just got to do. You know, maybe even the ladies out there, you got to pee the pee and do the do. I know they can't just go outside and, and pee anywhere like us guys can. But, but when it comes to number two, well, that's just what you have to do. I know it's weird, but I'm just trying to help you all out. So you're not sitting there holding it or having to see yourself outside in the snow wiping your ass in the freezing cold weather. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I also have some honorable mentions, things that you might want to have bring with you um, as well as CB radio. You never know if your phone's going to go out or you don't have phone signal and you need help. Always have a CB radio connected to your truck, uh, extra, extra chargers. Um, of course, I already said extra batteries, so on and so forth. But I want to thank you all for watching. And if this, like I said, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon and for every time I upload. And hit that like button because, well, you like me. You really like me? They like me.
like me. They love me. They want some more of me. This video got very weird very quick. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Keep the door closed. I don't know what they say over there on Will's channel. But, yo, keep the rubber side down. And, as usual, Big Trucker B out.